So we have a really cool bike rack to take a look at today. This is the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail 2 Bike Platform Rack. Take a look at our review here at eTrailer.com. So the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail is designed so that you don't have to worry about anything and you get to focus on your adventures. So you have your two wheel mounts that make it super easy to take off your bike and hit the trails. And after an intense ride, it makes it easy to put them back on and then you can hit the road just like that. We also have extra features so you don't have to worry about security or safety. You don't have to worry about durability. You don't have to worry about whether you can open up your hatch or not because we have that tilt away feature. So let's see how that does that. But before we go into those specs and those measurements, let me show you how I got here. Hurry up, let's hit the trail. Give me one second. What you waiting for? So what types of bikes can you carry with this bike rack? This is awesome with your mountain bikes. And what I've noticed with our more premium bike racks is that they're limited when it comes to those larger frames and larger wheel bases. So we have two mountain bikes, one with 29 inch tires and the other one with 26 inch tires. Let's switch them out and then you can see the adjustments we can make. So we have this adjustment knob here for your different tire sizes and we're going to use a 13 millimeter wrench and a 6 millimeter hex wrench. So compared to the Kuat piston, which has that easy to use handle and lever to adjust up and down, here you just need to loosen that nut and bolt and then you can make your adjustments. So you can now slide this up and down depending on your tire size and then just pop that bolt right back in and tighten it back down. So bringing this up, let's see how easy it is to make this fit with our dropper posts up and our handlebars out. You can slide this back and forth to get the best fit for your seats and your handlebars. I got it right on my first try, and now that's the spot where you secure it. So it's awesome to see how well it carried our two mountain bikes, but this can also carry your heavy electric bikes with a weight capacity of up to 60 pounds per bike. For your fat tire bikes, as long as they're not wider than three inches, they'll be able to fit inside of your mounts. Wider than three inches, this might not be the best fit for you. And for your fenders, as long as they don't go past this wheel mount, like we have a super short fender there, then you're fine and good to go. So you're at the trail and you need to grab your helmets and your waters real quick. Or you're parked in the parking lot and you need to put away groceries. You need to open up your hatch. What do you do? This has a tilt away feature. We have this lever underneath. Definitely an improvement from the monorail because it's a very easy to pull lever and it has a very smooth movement downwards. Now look at how deep that tilt is though. If you have extra heavy bikes, you will want to be conscious of this and make sure you don't get hit by your own pedals. But now we can open up our hatch. The Forerunner has a huge hatch and see, we still have plenty of space between our pedals and our door and our handlebars, allowing us to grab whatever we need. Did you fall over your handlebars and need some first aid? We got you. Now for lifting it up, you kind of have to be a little careful with that because you don't want to put undue pressure on your bike's frame. So I'm holding the bike rack up by the center and just using the mask to hold it. It clicks right into place and you're ready to ride. And when you're parked somewhere, you need to go to work or you need to stop at the store real quick, but your bike is behind you on your bike rack, especially when you have those really nice bike racks, you're gonna want a really nice heavy duty chain. This has heavy duty metal on the inside, but you also have this cloth sleeve on the outside and that's what's making contact with your bike's frames. So go ahead, find the best way to wrap these around your bike's frame and then feed the hook into itself. Open these two dust caps to reveal the lock core and where you insert your lock. So first, you need to unlock it where it pops out. Pop 
pop this in and lock it right back up. Good to go. Now you can also still use your own cable locks if you want to secure your front wheel, things like that. You can wrap that around the bike rack. I personally do not recommend driving away with a cable lock wrapped around your bikes just because for some of those other frames you may have a looser fit. But this is an awesome way to secure your bikes and help with her theft. So we just have two levers here, one and two. And then you can just push against the lever actually, holding onto your bike with the other hand. And now you raise your ride. So the front and rear wheel mount design, you can find that on some bike racks of other brands. This is most similar to the Inno tire hold because you can push it out here from the lever or you can use this as a hand hold. The Ceres MHS has a lever here where the wheel mount is and then the Thule Helium has it on top. So for those, when you have a longer wheelbase, you're gonna be holding onto your bike, switching hands and pushing out to the other side. This makes it easier. The levers have two positions. You can open it in order to push out on the mount or you could have it closed. I recommend closing your bike rack with this closed. You can hear it ratchet as it gets the best fit on your tire. And this is the position you need to have it in before you drive away. Measurements, I measure from the center of our hitch pin hole to the end of the bike rack, and this sits at 33 inches of length. That will help you figure out if you have enough space inside your garage, as well as when you're backing up into tight spots and tight spaces, if you have enough space for yourself. That lever we pulled earlier to tilt the bike rack away, well, with the bikes off, if you pull it again, you can now fold up your rack. You can see that snap into place. Again, a much smoother movement compared to the monorail and an easier handle to pull. This is the stowed position and this adds 16 inches from the center of your hitch pin hole. For those with recessed hitches or extra wide bumpers, measuring from the hitch pin hole to the closest point, that's going to be 7 inches away to your front wheel mount. For those wondering if this is going to cover your backup camera, well this is going to add 23 inches of height from the center of your hitch pin hole. So if you have those backup cameras or those license plates with this large tray design, it's likely going to cover it. But let's take a look. Putting in this into reverse, you can see on our Forerunner how it does cover most of our view, but we can kind of see the area behind the bike rack. This has an anti-rattle bolt, that way as you're driving around, you don't have much movement of the bike rack. And the install process is very similar to most of your other bike racks, but I have some special tricks to make it even easier. Let's take a look at that. So you just grab your bike rack, and then you lift it into your hitch receiver. This is where I would use the e-trailer hitch alignment collar because you have to line it up with that hole before you can tighten it down. And now just pick up a three quarter inch socket and wrench to tighten down your anti-rattle bolt. With the alignment collar, you don't have to worry about having to move your bike rack back and forth. It's just a lot easier that way. And just like that, it's super easy to install. You're ready to go ride. My personal thoughts about the Rocky Mount Skydrail Rail is I definitely see this being a good comparison with the Kuat NV. We saw earlier when AJ had the Rocky Mounts monorail, that front wheel mount is great. It's easier to use compared to some other frame mount bike racks, but this is even faster. So if you're focused on just getting onto the trails and you don't think you're gonna have enough energy to strap your bike back down once you're ready to hit the road, this is what I would go with. With that 60 pound weight capacity, it can also be used for your heavy electric bikes. Although I really see this as a mountain bike bike rack. It's really rare to find a two bike platform rack that can carry two large frame mountain bikes, but this can do it and that says a lot about its capabilities. As awesome as a Rocky Mount Sky Drail is, there might be some reasons you're not just ready to invest in it just yet. It is a premium bike rack with a premium price. If you want a bike rack that still checks off those boxes, but is a bit more affordable, that's where the Rocky Mounts monorail comes in handy. Now this can also carry those fat bike tires of up to five inches. This also has a similar design to the Kua NV. The Kua NV, you can have a ramp added onto it. With the guide rail, once you have those 60 pound bikes, it may be difficult to lift them onto that stadium trays. And then the NV, you can get the ramp added on and just ramp your bikes on. So it really depends on what types of bikes you have, what types of adventures you're going on, as well as what vehicle you have. That's why you should check out our product pages here at eTrailer. Check out all those different bike racks. We have pretty much every bike rack for every adventure. 
So we drove around for a couple days with this bike rack on my car and I really wanted to see how it works in real life. So you can see from our test course footage as we go over the speed bumps, how it handles it. At first I was concerned because there was a lot of wobble for the front and rear wheel mounts, but here it holds up very well. And even for the alternating speed bumps, we still see that the bike rack is holding on to our bikes. And as we go through our slalom, where we focus on that side-to-side -side action, you can see how well the bikes hold up to that movement when you have to make that sharp turns or even U-turns. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> and that was a look at our full review of the Rocky Mount Skyrail 2 bike platform rack. If you want to see how this bike rack looks on your car though, we do have year make model reviews where we show how it interacts with your vehicle. But otherwise, my name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.